Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 12. Oh, please give us an anime episode. I'm still hurting. Destroy them, please. I know. I know. I feel it too. Episode 36. Dull Knife. Please, not me. I've watched enough great shows. I've seen Vinland Saga Season 2. I've seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I understand cycles of violence. In most cases, I don't support it. However, in this case, blood must be spilled. <laughs> the price must be paid in blood for what they did to my boy. He was just logistics. Wasn't fair. Birds. I like how they were defeated off screen. And classical music. What happened to your leg, bro? <laughs> no, no, no. No. Time for mercy is finished. Yeah, show some respect. This is a long 10 meter walk. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Just kill me so I don't have to hear your monologue anymore. Just put me out of my misery. I mean, this guy clap for his own death. What is the value of a human soul? We've been looking for answers to that question for years. Oh no, the subjective take. Wow, this guy's so whipped, this kid. So you're gonna kill me or what? <laughs> uh huh, their financial value. You know, it's it's ametric. There's two options with her. Either she's deeper than she appears at face value, or she's a liability. Because what happens when the other side pays better? All friends are allies, but not all allies are friends. This is going surprisingly well, this whole operation. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of left hanging. What happened to Ino? Oh, there he is! All right, he's okay though. Falling up the roof maybe was the best thing that could have happened to him. Oh, he's spazzing out. Maybe he can't hold that long. That would be really lucky. Is he just like taking over? He's just that powerful. Well, it's a little bit murky, <laughs> the link between body and soul, so... If you replicate the body and memories of someone exactly, is it not just them? Suddenly we've got a, a third side in this conflict. Yeah, welcome to Jujutsu Kaisen, for me. <laughs> well, so was beating Gojo and he did that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh no, not Granny. Yeah, still hurts. Sadly, he's not in trouble anymore. Someone get revenge. <laughs> Imagine, in a situation like this. What I'm choosing to hear is he's fine. Okay, yes, I'm hearing he's fine. Could have been much worse. Let's stick together. They're doing so well. I, I feel like the more they consolidate their operations, right? That's what I'm saying. The better they'll do. Not sure how useful Mekamaru will be in this situation. It's kind of like trying to win a street fight with ChatGPT. This arc has been a pleasant surprise. I feel like for the kids, this is a turning point for them. This was a test that they kind of aced so far. What you might expect in Gojo's absence is just a total meltdown. And this was the opposite from basically everyone involved. Right? That's what I'm saying. I still feel like we don't know his actual goal yet. Oh. Please, please. You can take your time. Oh, 
And why does this look like a trap? That's what makes you suspicious. Um, 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 faster. <laughs> Let's go faster. There's a connection with this, whatever that is. It's like a little goblin. Well, nice, like, double handspring. I didn't think there would be any character more hateful than Gogo the Clown, but here we are. That's not great. That's not great right now. Um, you might want to get a move on or... Hmm? Thankfully, this guy's an idiot. Vuchi! Oh, oh, someone show- oh, is that Nanami? Nanami, save us. Oh no. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, it's over for you. Thank god. What an entrance, too. I think it's about to be overtime. And thank you for confessing to that murder in front of Nanami, who's not feeling too great right now. Angry Nanami is terrifying, because <laughs> he's already he's already intimidating, as like a gentle person. And I mean, this is true for probably most of the, the older people, but he has experience losing people he cares about to missions. Actually, that occurred to me last episode after watching, you know, praise Nanami. There's an extra layer to him being loved by a student, because he's seen students die. He knows the work, he knows the job, he's asking a lot of kids. There might be some guilt there about that, or fear, or whatever. So to get that acknowledgement, I don't know, it's still touching, one episode later. Oh, this guy's gonna cave. I mean, he, he picks on the weak. I mean, it's not. Weak. Nice going. Nice going. Perfect. Whoops. There goes all my leverage. Your foot okay? <laughs> This is the kind of person that's going to start begging. Calgary. He's showing an amazing amount of restraint right now, all things considered. <laughs> the lights flickered. The whole mall felt that punch. Not only made a, a building feel pain. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent support. Yeah, yeah. Of course he would apologize now. He's not sorry though. Yeah, we knew that. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Go confirm. Go, go. He's not. Whoa, whoa. Not at me. Come on. I love you, but you know better than that. Haven't you seen any thing ever <laughs> like once the if the body isn't found if you don't explicitly see the death they're not dead may as well have thrown him off a bridge into water it's also chilling how quickly he returned to a, a state of calm right she doesn't know about the, the brain parasite I like how that's how she knows Gojo's not involved, as opposed to, you know, his character. Oh, that's very astute. Wow, she figured out what most people didn't. Especially after, it was her that gave her the advice, one of the critical pieces of advice that led to his change, right? From a channeled entity? Oh, what? Okay. Not sure how she avoided being smushed there, but... Why don't you do something, kid? <laughs> what is this curse? Cheerleading? Cheerleading? 
Wait, wait, there's a chance he could live? Wait, what? You can't just glaze over that. You can't just glaze over those details. Whoa, I, that is very hopeful. We need to get on the same page and unify. She knows Gojo. I mean, they could play support in Nanami we trust. He, I mean, he's the he's the number one now, right? In a sense, very real sense. Yeah, not not too concerned. Am I like I'm too scared to even hope that Ichiji having a chance is real? Am I understanding that correctly? He might be alive. If so, there's been zero casualties. It's going even better than I thought. Way better than I thought. They're crushing this without Gojo. Thank God for Nanami. I mean, he hasn't done all that much so far aside from punching that dude through a restaurant but the contribution is more spiritual he's giving the structure he's the adult in the room it adds something like i don't know closure or just meaning to his return to the sorcerer world if i remember correctly one of his things is he was reluctant to focus heavily on searching for a meaning of life or responsibility instead just you know trying to make money live comfortably in hindsight especially after watching the beginning of season two a lot of that probably wasn't fully about the stated reason but was about fear fear of loss fear of forcing kids to do this kind of work but sometimes I think the people who want to do important things the least are perhaps the most qualified to do them. Partly because I think it demonstrates a, a deep understanding of what the thing is and its dangers and its darkness, which I think is an essential element to resisting or fighting that darkness. You could make the argument that it wasn't that he didn't care, it's that he cared too much, being the kind, conscientious person he is, which is so great, given the contrast to his sort of gruff nature, exterior. Maybe that's partly why he's such a great pairing with Gojo. First of all, their differences complement, but more importantly, it's their commonality, which is they don't answer to just the sorcerer world or their superiors or material gain. It's a sense of duty that you know is from them. I feel like I can put Nanami safely in the category of people I trust, people I want on my side when the Jujutsu Sorcerer's Civil War inevitably begins. In that light, I'm thinking about the way the episode first opened. What, is he, what did he say? I'm not the one to let regretting my failures get in my way. Getting irritated at my own failings hasn't been and never will be a part of my life. Instead, I will simply confront the evils that force themselves up upon us, and then he trails off and says, arrogant bastards. That makes me think that actually he, he deeply ruminates on his own failures, and that this is more of like a mantra, keeping him focused, keeping him on task for whatever his desired thing is. Anyway, if it's not obvious, I love Nanami. Shout out to Bakery Girl for baking bread, but also for giving us Nanami.